Hey guys, I am Boom Inc. and welcome to this, uh, it's, it's a different video than my other videos. It is basically showing Windows XP in 2019. So this video will be about just that. Okay. Okay, something I have to say about XP. A lot of people, I can't deny, loved XP. I did too in my younger years. I got XP mode from the official Microsoft website, which Microsoft made it so that you could run applications that run on XP, but not on 7. So I do have to say this about XP mode. You can only get it if you have Windows 7. So basically, if you have a computer with a newer version of Windows, like that's newer than 7, and want to use XP mode, you'll have to look elsewhere. So, um, I'm just gonna open it. So it says, starting virtual machine. Um, so, yeah. It's, so it's coming up, enabling integration features. So it came up. So it does have its basic startup sound like it normally does. Okay, when you first get this, you're just, you're just so when you first get this, you start with this blue background. I put it, I put this on here because I mean, why not? So let's start the first. Okay, something I want to show you in control panel was basically one of my favorite things to do in XP. Speech. Okay, so normally, so this thing came up. Um, so basically, it just kind of just like, if you highlight something and then press read aloud, it would read it to you. And then, okay, so normally, it starts out like this. But okay, this is what it sounds like normally. You have selected Microsoft Sam as the computer's default voice. Okay, but something you can actually do in this is change the text. So like, I'm just gonna do. No. <laughs> Sorry. Eh. Incorporated. Well, apparently it says I'm Boom Incorporated because I mean it registers as that. Okay. There. Okay. There's still many things that I want to show you. Um, Minesweeper. It is definitely different from the versions. And. And my favorite thing I want to show you is, um, well, actually, I'll save this for the last. Okay, Tor Windows XP. And I have never seen this in my early years, but when I got this, I noticed this, and this is what it is. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, yeah, the new version of Windows video. that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. Basically, it just kind of just Best tells for you stuff business. XP. Windows XP Professional shines as a business operating system. Get more. To begin the tour, click any selection. <sighs> Have never, I've never done this in my young years, but I like the music in this. I mean, you can obviously find what you do, but Internet Explorer. Okay, you can run a few websites, but there's but you can run very few though. Like here, I'm gonna type in Lego Shop. Oh yeah, I had on images. 
Um, when you go to the official LEGO shop, it does not work. Because Internet Explorer for XP just, just doesn't work on modern. In this modern day and age. Um, what else? Do it, what a show. Uh, hmm. There's not much to show. Oh, um, there is Movie Maker in this. I'm sad because I want, I really want to see what Movie Maker does, but, but when I click it, this happens. Yeah. It says Wo Windows Movie Maker cannot be used with remote desktop connection or terminal services. So. But, if I ever wanted to listen to the critical stop sound, anytime I wanted, I could just do that. Um, hmm. Alright. Wait, MSN. Thank you, sir. Email? I'm just kind of just going through a bunch of stuff. Wait, what? My name, um, Ned Will. Um, you know what, never mind. I'm just gonna quit this. I'm gonna go away now. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Oh. I am going to do one of my favorite games to play on this. Pinball. Well, 3D pinball. I love playing this as a in my younger years. Oh, I'd wrap up the memories. basically trash, except I'm not going to move it in the trash, because I mean, I'm just going to leave it, because you can run very few websites on this, so, um, let's see what else, my computer, so, Definitely not too much to look at. After. I mean, I have used this a bit, but I really wanted to do Movie Maker. I wish I could show you guys Movie Maker, but unfortunately, it does this. So, um, there's really not much left. Um, do you have anything else? Um, accessories. Okay, um... Paint. Is so much harder to use in this than it is in Windows 7. Because I'm used to making pictures. In Windows 7. It's just put something. I don't want to print anything. Yeah, I do have to... I don't want to save it. I just want to... No! Okay, my mouse thing is so weird. It acts really weird. Um... Okay. No! I don't... 
don't want to save it. Sorry, it's taking a while. I want to save it. Um, let's just type in something. Ah. Well, this is what. Oh, well, this is what paint looks like. Notepad. I should show Notepad. Accessories, notepad, is not too different compared to other versions of Windows. Even in Windows 10, I heard, it still looks like this. I mean, the only thing that looks different is, like, that, you know, this part. Um, hmm. Games. I'm not gonna show too much games because I mean, I mean I did show two games, but and then this is WordPad is most definitely different compared to other versions of Windows, like in um, Seven. It's basically like just is different. I think that's spelled wrong, but... No, I don't want to save changes. Um... Hmm... Normally with Windows XP, there's like sample music. Unfortunately, XP emote doesn't have it, so... Which means I can't show the visualization, which is basically the special effects that appears on the... Windows Media Player, which is normally right here. Uh, well, this is XP mode, and so really, I am basically using XP in 20. It's not really the full version, but it kind of acts like it's the full version. So, this is it. Goodbye.